today we're gonna test our Tesla with the on the winter conditions and we'll see how much we can drive on uh, uh, almost full charge it's 90% uh, of charge in our battery here and I'm going skiing uh, from uh, Georgina area to Huntsville uh, it's about uh, 140 kilometers to go there and uh, by the time I'll come home I will be like at 1% so round trip uh, will take uh, almost full charge at 2.329 uh, when I started was 3.32 kilometers of charge so uh, probably will take more than it shows now but the good thing that at, at Huntsville they have superchargers so I can top up my car and I can go back uh, hopefully with no problem but another problem here do you see the conditions um, it's snowing it's uh, um, a little bit slippery out there and I have um, model 3 um, uh, standard range plus which means uh, I have um, rear wheel drive car so um, and another thing that I don't have winter tires here yet uh, we swap our winter tires in our vault but we didn't have chance to do it on our Tesla I still can't find a proper place to do it unfortunately so we have to drive in uh, all season tires which was installed here when we bought the car but um, uh, interesting thing that I we drove before on similar conditions, even worse, and I didn't feel less confident than I was driving my Volt with uh, winter tires on it. With, uh, and I have uh, one of the best, I think, Michelin uh, Ice uh, X Ice uh, Three. Uh, but I couldn't say that I'm super happy about them. Uh, and um, when I was driving Tesla, it felt more and it feel still feel more uh, I think more solid uh, I think that uh, when you brake it could be not as good as a winter test but still the car feels heavy car, car feel feels solid and um, that's a good thing for um, when you drive um, in conditions like that as you can see the temperature is not too, not too crazy uh, it's like minus two minus three uh, in Huntsville it shows that it's minus six or something but afternoon it will get lower so um, uh, it could eat more range from the battery so we'll see how our test will go and uh, how much we'll spend them uh, how much battery will be left and we'll be uh, at the location uh, I'm planning to ski like for a few hours there and go back because we have a Christmas party um, at uh, our friend's place to tonight so um, hopefully uh, everything will go smooth and um, I will uh, show you what's gonna happen next. Oh, it looks like the drive uh, won't be too pleasant according to this weird snow plus uh, ice thing going on out there. Uh, funny enough, the forecast was showing the clear sky today. As you can see, the projected uh, range will be like, I, I will be at 40% one percent when I arrive to the location to, um, to the ski place uh, I'm going to Huntsville uh, Hidden Valley a ski resort and um, to the to go back it shows me now it shows me even minus three uh, so uh, I think um, I probably not probably I think that most definitely I would need to use supercharger there at the uh, Hans, uh, in Huntsville uh, which is really great that they have it there um, and they plan to install a few more in Muskoka uh, I think it's supposed to be uh, either Gravenhurst or Bracebridge and also uh, they plan to install one in Aurelia which is uh, oh, kind of on the way too I have my uh, multimedia on, I have my music on I have uh, climate on so I'm not really trying to save um, energy I drive as uh, usual I switch the drive mode from uh, regular to chill um, not because I want to save energy but I don't want car to accelerate too fast on the slippery road so I think it's a little bit more safe to have it in chill mode uh, than regular and I have a uh, real wheel drive car and it uh, could be uh, dangerous I think um, I think chill mode is more safe on the uh, slippery conditions to drive.
drive it. That's what I'm dealing with now. That's what's going on here. And uh, doesn't look like it's gonna get any better. I don't know, maybe I even should turn back and go home. To be honest, I can say that the car, uh, the car feels uh, really stable and uh, even slippery road. Uh, I don't say that you don't have to buy uh, winter tires. I think with winter tires it could be even more stable and more more um, uh, uh, more great to drive. Um, I just didn't have chance to do it yet. I, I was thinking to get some Michelin, but you unfortunately can't get tires and go to Tesla dealership uh, or service to swap it there. Um, they don't do it for their cars which I don't really appreciate actually because like with regular dealership you just can go like we did with our world uh, there's no headache you don't have to go to some garage or some uh, place that you don't know uh, or they or you're not sure uh, you just go to our dealership Chevy dealership uh, they buy tires from them they replace it like they swap it for you and that's that's it uh, no headaches whatsoever uh, I read a lot of like things about winter tires people suggesting places uh, I but I'm not 100% sure yet about any of them uh, although I think I should try it, uh, to really get uh, winter tires well anyway if you have like uh, money and resources to buy uh, all-wheel drive Tesla I would go for it for sure uh, unfortunately we didn't have that kind of budget and uh, so we went with uh, standard range plus uh, but I was worried actually about uh, real wheel drive uh, car because I always was driving uh, uh, front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive I never had uh, much experience with real wheel drive except when I was renting trucks um, and that thing was worrying me but actually again uh, with our Tesla or even on uh, all season tires I feel more stable than when I drive our Volt with winter tires so um, uh, I don't know it's not that bad I was, as I was expecting actually and as you can see the conditions are still same and actually pretty beautiful to drive I like <laughs> side roads I like I like the countryside roads they nice and beautiful especially this weather and if it's still the same if it will stay the same I will be okay I don't think we'll see much trouble so I intend to go to the destination to the ski place uh, ski for a few hours and go back now it shows me that I will be at 33% when I arrive to the place and if I want to go back to the same charge I will be at minus 10% when I got home so clearly I would need to use a uh, supercharger here uh, and um, the tool projected tool shows me projected range will be 200 for me for uh, from this point and the battery shows me 266 so yeah I think the projected it's pretty fair I don't drive too fast again I drive at 80 around 80 kilometers because uh, that's the speed limit and I want to want to go more higher than speed limit here in this weather speaking about um, uh, cruise control and um, uh, adaptive cruise control and uh, autopilot I wouldn't use it in a, this kind of road I actually tried a few times and uh, sometimes it just uh, can't see properly lines when there's an, some unusual situation on the road uh, you don't know what autopilot would do and um, uh, actually I was trying a few times and at some point it just just tear a little bit too hard so I was afraid I will go sideways I will go and I will, uh, ended up in the ditch so um, um, I think for this kind of roads when it's slippery uh, it could be dangerous uh, that's my opinion okay um, 59 kilometers left uh, 37 minutes and it shows the same shows 33 percent of the range when I arrive to the destination and minus 10 when I supposed to be home back and I actually forgot to mention the weather report because uh, as you can see the 
skies is getting clear and uh, which is good the road is good but the temperature is dropping so when I was when I start my drive it was showing me minus three minus uh, four and now we are at minus nine here in Muskoka and I think by the time you come there which uh, in 32 minutes it will be even uh, lower probably okay so we're here we got here to the ski resort uh, you can see from here uh, anyway this is ski resort we at now and what we have we have 125 kilometers left on the range which is clearly won't be enough for us to go home and let's see um, so yeah I'm just gonna go for some skiing a few hours and then I'm gonna go home and I have to stop at supercharger first ride of the season I love the view from up top Okay, so I'm done today with the skiing and I'm ready to go home and let's see what we have So as I remember the range was 120 something when we arrived here so uh, car was um, um, on the open space like an open parking uh, out there uh, with minus 10 actually now it shows minus 5 but I think it's just uh, uh, car is not uh, calculated the temperature yet because my watch is showing me minus 10 uh, so uh, and we have 98 kilometers let's see what car will show me when I will navigate to home okay so in order to go home car showed me that I have to stop at supercharger uh, for 15 minutes so I have to charge my car for 15 minutes at supercharger here and then I'll be able to get home there I will have enough range to go home so let's go to supercharger and do it so as you see uh, when you uh, have a supercharger on your road and uh, the battery will start preconditioning your battery in order to get to supercharging so it will be warm and ready for supercharging when you arrive there another thing i have to mention that um, i lost about 20 something kilometers for four hours i think the car was sitting in the cold and uh, another thing that drain the battery is a century mode so if you want to save uh, your battery life if you want to save your range it's better to have uh, uh, century mode off okay so I was charging for like 15 minutes and look what I got I got 262 kilometers now on my battery when I arrived, I, I believe it was around 80 uh, kilometers left. So the current session would be uh, 8 dollars, Canadian dollars. Uh, so that's how fast it's going. To be completely full to 90%, uh, I need to wait for another 15 minutes. But I think I'm good to go. Uh, I think I can already unplug the car and go home. So now I have 276 six kilometers of range I need to go 133 32 kilometers uh, to get home an hour and 30 minutes in uh, minus six that it shows now and uh, mm, the car is showing me that when I arrive home I will be at 33 percent uh, about that so I think I'm pretty good Another thing I want to say, uh, in uh, regular AV with regular charging stations, I wouldn't go uh, if I knew that only one charging around, uh, I wouldn't go that far, <laughs> I uh, I wouldn't dare, <laughs> because I had a lot of experience with my Volt, and when you come into regular, super, like regular charging, uh, public charging stations, or 
just like uh, any other uh, charging stations that they're there um, sometimes they occupy sometimes they don't work they're not working sometimes they just uh, somebody uh, charging their car and then uh, you, you wouldn't know when they're gonna leave and with supercharger you can be pretty confident that anytime you come you you have your spot and um, as you see when I came here there's only two Teslas were charging here and I, there's plenty of spots and even if they all would be occupied usually they charge like for 10-15 minutes so you can wait and you can get and you can go with regular charging stations it's not that easy and uh, that's why if you need like car with to travel especially to travel tesla would be the best unless they will build some better um, charging uh, network because now what we have uh, usually it's like one or two charging somewhere around and again I, you can be sure that it's gonna be working or that won't be occupied or won't be iced so um, just a thought about that it's less tesla with supercharger it's another story and it's much better and it's much faster what's the bottom line uh, is it good to have tesla canadian winter yes it's good it's fine and no problem at all uh, the only thing you have to consider you have to understand that range is gonna be less in the winter especially and if it's like really uh, big minus if it's uh, really cold out there uh, you can expect uh, loss of the range up to uh, 40% which is a lot which is a lot let's say um, uh, we have uh, standard range plus which gives you 386 kilometers as they say uh, of course range depends on, on a lot of things like uh, like your speed your uh, climate control and the uh, big thing is temperature outside so if it's cold out there you will have a loss uh, but if you plan if you plan it well uh, if you understand uh, this issue if you know what you can expect uh, how much uh, of range you can expect uh, in each temperature you'll be fine no, no, no problem at all uh, the only issue could be potentially if you drive far like if you want to travel during winter uh, that could be uh, challenging uh, or if you want to travel more then that's a good idea to go with long range uh, which would help you significantly uh, well in any case uh, if you have superchargers on your way you wouldn't have any problem at all uh, so that's just my thoughts you just need to be prepared and uh, understand the, the range and uh, understand the loss you get okay so we're back home uh, as you remember we had uh, 270 something 272 to 74 kilometers of range so now we have 86 and we drove 130 three kilometers which uh, gives us loss of about 47 50 kilometers which is not that bad i think considering the temperature minus seven it was minus seven minus five uh, while i was driving so so that's that's the, the situation that the numbers we are getting thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell uh, to receive notifications about new videos